If you are looking to select best embedding model for your rag, then you need to follow this process. Go to MTAP leaderboard on Hugging Face, click on Retrieval, then whatever your language is, for example English, and then according to your data set, which you can check from here, you can select your model in this second column. Now, how do you see which data set is closer to you? For example, you know that your data set is related to maybe question and answer. So if you scroll down on here and I will just scroll down a bit and then scroll to the right, you will see that there are a lot of data sets available here. For example, your data set matches with Quora Retrieval. Or for example, you think maybe it matches with Hotpot QA. Now, how do you know what exactly is Hotpot QA? You go to the GitHub repo of Massive Text Embedding Benchmark or MTAP and then just simply click here, Control F and then search for maybe Hotpot and you can see further detail about what exactly this Hotpot QA is. So here it is. Hotpot QA is a question answering data set featuring natural multi-hop questions with strong supervision for supporting facts to enable more explainable question answering system. So you would have to do a bit of research in all of these data sets on this GitHub repo and they keep updating it. And then from there, you just pick up your data set uh, which matches close or, or which matches closely to your data set and then you go back to the same tab leaderboard and see which model performed best on that data set. So this is how you select an embedding model for your RAG system. Now to give you more detail on it, RAG is simply Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is a technique in AI that combines two major components, information retrieval and language generation. First, it retrieves relevant information from a large database of text in response to a query or question. This step is like searching a library for the best books related to your question. Then using the information it has gathered, RAG generates a coherent and contextually relevant answer, much like writing a well-informed essay or summary. Primarily, RAG is like having an AI researcher who first does thorough research and then writes a knowledgeable response. And that information which RAG retrieves is stored in form of numerical vectors or embeddings. Now, in the context of RAG, an embedding model plays a crucial role. An embedding model is simply like a translator that converts text into numerical form or embeddings. These embeddings are unique numerical representations of words or phrases, capturing their meaning and relationships to other words. In React, the embedding model first translates a question or prompt into this numerical language. Then it uses these embeddings to search through a vast database of information to find relevant documents or text snippets that can help answer the question. Once it retrieves the most relevant information, this data then is used to generate a detailed and informed response. So this is what in simple words RAG and embedding model is. Now if you scroll up to this M tab benchmark, you would see a lot of information that not only it is related to retrieval, for example, if you want to do classification, then you can select from these embedding models and then similarly you can on the right hand side you can just select this data set and see which data set is closer to your uh, own data set and then you see the score and pick up the model with best score and you can see more detail about this mtap for example it has total data sets 130 total language is 113 and then total models in this repo 192 which is amazing now there are a lot of other things like you know which matrix it is using for example for classification it is using accuracy and then you can click more on it what exactly accuracy is for example for the retrieval one which we were looking at it is using ndcg ndcg stands for normalized discounted cumulative gain and it is a measure of effectiveness of a ranking system taking into account the position of 
relevant items in the rank list. It is based on the idea that items that are higher in the ranking should be given more credit than items that are lower in the ranking. Okay, so this is what uh, this metric is and this is how you select an embedding model. Now a little bit more information on this MTAB bench, benchmark. You can also install it locally by the way with, by just choosing pip. So this MTAB or massive text embedding benchmarks is uh, quite a, I would say, um, nice benchmark because it spans eight embedding tasks covering a total of 58 data sets and 112 languages. Through the benchmarking of 33 models on MTAB, they have established the most comprehensive benchmark of text embeddings to date. And they have also found out that no particular text embedding method dominates across all tasks. This suggests that the field has yet to converge on a universal text embedding method and that is why it is very important that you select the right embedding model which is right for your data set. That's it. I hope that it was useful. If you still have any confusion or any questions, please share them in the comments or if you know of any other similar approach, please feel free to put it in the comments as we are all learning. It is still all very new. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.